Coming up next, it's a featherweight matchup between Conor McGregor and Max Holloway. Well, if he is not the greatest UFC featherweight champion in the promotion's history, he is certainly on the short list. That 13-fight winning streak that he put together at 145 pounds, likely something, DC, that will never be duplicated in this division. Yes, it'll be very tough because it's such a tough division. The guys that he had to beat in order to go on a 13-fight win streak was unbelievable. It was unreal to see the name on that list that Max Holloway beat. But the crowning moment, was when he beat Jose Aldo twice to win and keep his UFC featherweight championship. And then he only topped that in the destruction of Brian Ortega. Max Holloway is one of the best fighters, if not the best fighter, 145 pounds has ever seen. And with respect to Jose Aldo, Conor McGregor, and anybody else, the UFC featherweight record books read like Max Holloway's Wikipedia page. We'll see if he can add to that total here tonight. Well, the celebrities are out. The floor seats are packed because the notorious one, Conor McGregor, makes his triumphant return here tonight. There's always a special feel when a UFC main event is about to unfold, but Conor McGregor just takes it to that requisite next level. J.A., as a fan, I usually sit right next to the octagon, but when Conor fights, I gotta be in the first row behind <laughs> the barrier because the celebrities are out in droves. Conor McGregor has this thing about him that makes everybody want to show up. They flock to Vegas, they come in groups, they want to experience the notorious Conor McGregor. They want to see if he can have one of those special moments, him atop the cage, him knocking right. out Jose Aldo. If you experience the McGregor experience, you always have a story to tell, and that's why people show up. He's going to cash the check tonight, right? But he's not here for just money, no, right? This not. is about proving himself trying to improve his mixed martial arts legacy. And one, two titles, no title defenses. That's a big part of the motivation. He takes Conor. a lot of pride in the preparation to getting to the octagon, and you see it every time Conor McGregor fights. All right, now let's get you the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Holloway is two years the elder. McGregor will have a five-inch reach advantage. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a boxer holding a professional record of 24 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii, Max Blast Holloway. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? Well, the buzz is palpable. Here we go with round one between Max Holloway and Conor McGregor. And I would think if you're Conor McGregor, that first meeting back in 2013, you're throwing that footage out. You expect an entirely different, better version of Max Holloway. Today. You have to. And Conor McGregor is a very smart man and understands the adjustments and the differences that Max Holloway will approach this fight to. And if nothing else, he has to see it visually. Yeah. That is not the same kid that he fought way back in Boston in 2013. Nice punch there by Holloway. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. <laughs> nice kick landed by this gentleman. Yeah, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Just unable to... Oh! He's a trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh, big combination. 
combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Not there. Paul oh, McGregor's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Missed with that right hand. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Holloway gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Good hard. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. So just over 20 total. Oh. Oh. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, big left. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Holloway gets caught with that punch. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Working out of that southpaw stance. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And they set. Four seconds for the end of round one. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. And what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Here we are. Early round two. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into the opponent's thigh. Speed the leg up. Nice. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, that'll send your head sideways. Vicious uppercut. Big knee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the... You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh! Nice shot, John. So the unofficial numbers thus far, 53 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Just below 50% thus far, landing with 44% accuracy against oh! Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Ah, that jab hurt him. Nice defense there, huge block. Just over two minutes now to go. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right... There, DC, he is officially rough. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. 
Oh, here's the head kick. It's blocked. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, three seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's gonna be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.